finally finished. It took a while. It's been going for three months, I suppose. Obviously, it hasn't taken that long to do. It's just been a bit as and when. I tended to, I got the structure up, got it watertight, and then filled it up with stuff and sort of ignored it. But got it just as I want it, and now we've sold the house. So uh, the new, new owner's going to like it and appreciate it, but uh, I'm just gutted because it's just what I wanted. So I'll talk you through it. Concrete base, fence posts, concreted in, uh, 4x2, making the walls, um, hardy plank on the front, the cement board, up and over door, UPVC door there. On the sides I went white UPVC plastic, um, it was just a lot cheaper. The cladding at the front was getting very expensive. Right, these are 5 meter lengths, so there we are, we're about 5. Point five meters long. Now the back is a lot narrower than the front. For where my drive is, I wanted the side you see to look like a traditional roof. So what I had to do was make the other side, this end narrower than the front. So I'll explain more as we go in. This was a bit frightening, health and safety, because you know, when you're cladding it on the side, it's a, there's a bit of a drop there. All right, if I take you around the front. Can't believe how gutted I am. Right, it's a bit full because, like I say, as soon as it got watertight, everything. I put beams across the top to stop any spread, hold it together, and for storage. So I've just tied them all in, put ply on above, and then um, <laughs> filled it up. So it's just, I had a car in here, I've, I've taken that out, but the stuff I've got in here is just ridiculous. I've got three weeks to move out, so I'm gonna start chucking rubbish out, and then hopefully I won't need it. There's some, there's some bits, here, like exhaust manifolds, I just don't, don't get rid of it. Anyway, that's the garage, finally finished. 